Hi, I'm Morgan Wells and I'm Curator of Education here at the Tucson Museum of Art. Here at the museum, I oversee all of our education programs, which we here call TMA Learn. TMA Learn provides programming for all ages. We start with youth, then we go all the way to lifelong learning and creative aging, people at the end of their life where they need to have programming and support here. Memories in the Making is our program with the Alzheimer's Association for caregivers and people with dementia. They come to the museum every Friday and they're here with a docent-led tour, looking at art in the galleries, and then they end the session with art making. They get to experience all different types of art, from printmaking to clay to painting. You may learn believes that we can support Tucson schools with the arts. Often, schools are limited in their resources with the arts, and here at TMA Learn, we want to be a resource for the Tucson community by offering field trips and art making, as well as the gallery experiences. So kids that come to the museum on a one-time basis, they often come year after year after year. Um, they do a tour in the museum and then often have an art making component afterwards. We also are running art camps here at TMA. One of our longest programs that we have at the museum is our summer camp. Our summer camp has been here over 55 years. We're actually seeing generations before bring their children. I've even had grandparents say that I brought my kid here and now I'm bringing my grandkids here. So that's kind of exciting. And it's a fun time where you go to the museum, we're outside, we're sketching from nature, we're sketching from artwork, um, and they get to play in the education center. We even watch art-related movies as well as do many different activities, including photography, clay, painting, all sorts of things. TMA Learn is supported by many different things here in Tucson, by private foundations, grant funding, as well as private donors. And here, we do a lot of things for free for the Tucson community. And so without that funding, we wouldn't be able to do what we do.